Good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for trading session on the Monday, 12th of February 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's look at the actual markets and let's see what the uh, stats are here, folks. In terms of Asian markets overnight, certainly weaker, uh, remain weaker as well in terms of um, the risk off culture. The uh, Nikkei certainly uh, flushing, although it did actually recover from the uh, the actual uh, pivot low at 20,800. Still down for a whopping 500 points though. Uh, Hang Seng certainly negative, but the Shanghai finishing positive 0.78%, so very impressive there. In terms of European markets this morning, they've certainly bounced as well on the back of US equities, certainly bouncing sharply. The CAC up 1.5%, the DAX up 1.8%, and the FTSE 100 up 1.25%, so very, very impressive there. In terms of the uh, market stats then, that's basically where we stand in terms of economic uh, numbers or fundamentals, shall we say. Uh, this morning, nothing major uh, out of Europe this morning. The only, uh, we see, uh, main uh, major headline that we have is that Mr. Trump is unveiling his uh, potential uh, uh, infrastructure plan, which is worth 1.5 trillion, so just bear that in mind. In terms of the markets then, let's just quickly go through technicals. The German DAX, certainly an impressive bounce this morning, as you can see here. Up a, an impressive, I mean, we finished the pivot low of 12.050, now we're back up to 12.360 this morning. It's almost 300 points from those from that pivot low. Uh, we're certainly stalling here now, though. Uh, just bear that in mind. Again, the uh, the actual coalition deal that Miss Merkel did certainly is being interpreted as being negative, given the fact that she'd lost her power as well, and therefore her influence, which in turn obviously has kept Germany together. So, again, that is a risk or factor. Uh, you have support down below at 12.230, then eventually, obviously, you've got the gap filler on the 12.100 zone. So watch out for that potential level in terms of the German DAX, okay? 60-minute chart, it's been impressive. If you use your pivot and the Fibonacci retracement to the pivot high, to the pivot low, and we've retraced more than 51, 61% at present. Okay, so let's see how this market can uh, unfold. Okay, in terms of uh, yesterday uh, indices, you've got uh, French CAC here. Daily chart certainly bounced. We still have the unfilled gap below at 5030, though. So again, still potentially vulnerable to being closed below. Bear that in mind. In terms of a 60 minute chart, yep, we've bounced. Okay, we're still making lower lows and lower highs though, so obviously take that into consideration as well. Take the pivot highs, the pivot low, we were traced 50%. So it's not exactly as healthy as the German DAX, so just bear that in mind. Lower lows and lower highs still remain in play. In terms of the 10 minute chart, the French CAC was certainly uh, coming up to resistance now. Uh, okay, certainly finding it tough to break above. Uh, we've certainly stalled here on the 10 minute chart. Okay, around the 5160 zone, you've got the unfilled gap below as well. Previous resistance equals support, so you are looking at support around the 5125 zone, and then eventually below down to gap fill, which is around the 5080 zone below. So watch out there. If you do continue to push higher, the next level of resistance is 5200, and then you've got resistance here at, uh, let's just confirm, you've got resistance here at 5230, so watch out there. Okay, in terms of the rest of the indices, uh, let's move on to the FTSE 100 now. Again, you've got horizontal support. We bounced, putting a bullish engulfing candle. Certainly pushed higher, although we have had comments or bearish comments from Mr. Villy, BOE, uh, member there. Certainly bearish comments there. Uh, the hawkish comments, and therefore, obviously, it's bearish for the market. And if <coughs> oil prices certainly moved higher as well. So, <coughs> Okay, so FTSE 100 certainly putting in a bullish engulfing candle here. Certainly moving higher in the back of higher oil prices, but... We have concerns with regards to the uh, inflation, uh, obviously trade certainly hurting the uh, the index as well, so bear that in mind. 60 minute chart, the FTSE certainly has bounced off double bottoms, so holding. Looking for some consolidation now before we start to move higher, so just bear that in mind. Especially US indices into resistance now. FTSE again, like I said, looking for a retracement, even if you get a retracement down to 750, potential uh, FIB for 38, obviously you're looking at FIB 50. Possibly even fib, uh, fib 61 percent. So watch out there. The overall pattern still lower lows, lower highs. Although we have had a higher high now, we're now looking for a higher low. So higher low probably around the 7150 zone, possibly even around the 7135 or the 7120. So we'll see. Uh, my next trade certainly will be a long position below that pivot low there in order to negate that uh, potential uh, uh, low. Okay, so that's basically where we stand um, in terms of the FTSE on the upside. We break above that key resistance there at 7,200. You're looking at 7,240. Then now again, you're looking at 7,310. So quite an impressive rally if that obviously were to occur. In 
terms of FTSE, you, you can never ignore the oil price. So again, let's just bring the price of oil. Uh, it's a bit of a mess at the moment. Let's just go to the daily chart. Okay, so in terms of oil price, you've got previous resistance equal support, which in turn helps the FTSE 100 to move higher. So bear that in mind. 60 minute chart now. I mean, we've had quite an impressive. Uh, oops, Daisy, what's happened there? Uh, okay, yeah, we've had quite an impressive thrust. Um, obviously, with it hitting a potential, uh, you've got a bottom tail there, a pivot low of 58. We've bounced from there. Uh, we've had quite an impressive bounce thus far. I mean, we hit a pivot high of almost 61 before, so you are looking at resistance there. That obviously causes resistance in FTSE as well. So, looking for a retracement now before we potentially even move higher back up to 62. So let's see how the market unfolds there in terms of the FTSE. Four hour chart, getting a better insight here. Previous resistance equals support, obviously we've held that. And now looking to potentially hold even further. So watch out for that zone there. Okay, let's watch out. Let's see how this market unfolds. Okay, so that's basically where we stand. Okay then, that's basically where we are. On that note, I believe wish you the best in terms of uh, trading for the rest of the week please be sure to visit trade signal uh, your leading market app and also uh, cfds.com for your trading needs goodbye now